to kill a Kalidus when I could have spent this Blighted Fen to kill the Kalidus, and then we'd have had a Ruinous Path to clean up this Chandra. Even, a, in fact, a kicked Ruinous Path to clean up the Chandra. Going to 12. Another secure would be nice. Jeez, sure. Mm, definitely had worse draws than that. I guess I want to leave both black up in case we hit a grasp off of this so we can kill Shambling Vent on the way back. Howdy, Silix. Rethinking it, I probably should have let on the Obnix list and used Ob to kill this and then still have a grasp in my hand, possibly. I don't know. We're pretty far out of this game. Just Chandra. This deck just might not be good enough anymore with Chandra being in the format. Like, this, this could be easily be the card that, like... Like, the Mardu Green matchup was always very good for us, and this matchup was very good for us, because they just they didn't have a card like Chandra that let them go over the top and keep up with Obnexilis and secure the waste, but now this card allows them to do that, so... Read the bones, secure the waste. You can activate a shambling vent and sack that instead. Nope. Alright. Yep. Four match rotates real soon. Getting crackling doomed. Chirp. Standard. Are you winning? Nope. Why not? Alright, boarding this matchup. Dresses are good. Seeker is bad. Petition is reasonable. Cletus is medium. The problem with Cletus is that uh, they often leave Crackling Doom in against us. I don't think I want that. I think I'm just going to do this. It's possible I want at least one Languish. Yeah, I think I want at least one Languish and we get two Virtual with the Dark Petition to clean up... Um, to be able to clean up uh, mentors. I'm going to cut a Blighted Fen in this matchup because the games tend to go long. And you want less lands, usually. Yep, no worries, K-Smith. Uh, Captain, obviously, like, there's no guarantee that his, his counterspell is a disdainful stroke there. Like, what if he has negate or dispel? Checks play first, yes. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Okay. Like, there's a very real chance that we, like, just, just get dispelled. Like... Yeah, you happy, baby? You happy, baby? Watch well, us, like, brick off on land now that I boarded a land down, too, but that'll be fine. Oh my gosh, you're heavy. Dress. 
has a duress of his own. Stroke, dig. I guess I'll take his duress away. With two read the bones, we should be able to power through the rest of this. This hand's very good if he runs some lands off, though. We both need to run lands off here. He's got more draw steps than I do to, to do it, though. Alright, well. Step one. Double double bottom, looking for lands, transgress, lands, ruinous paths. Languish, looking kind of poor. He drew a duress, good beats. Alright, that was a good draw for us. So if he goes Gideon next turn, we could grasp the token, play Obnexilus, and then ruin his path to Gideon the following turn. He has Dig, Stroke, Gideon, Gideon, Kalidus. He has one card we don't know. I'm going to bet it's not Grasp of Darkness and Ship for two here. Hey, Palo, welcome to the stream. I mean, to be fair, a lot of what... A lot of what we consider to be, like, when I say we, like, Magic players consider to be inferior about Hearthstone, like the type of gameplay, the general public enjoys simpler, less complex games. Like, like a game being less complex overall is generally a draw to most people. Because they're dumb. I mean, you're not wrong. Do we have any plans for tonight? I'm just wondering. Maybe. Is it nice out? Sounds good. Nope. Just wondering. So we have... He has Dig Stroke, Gideon, Gideon, Kalidus, and then two cards we don't know in hand. So he can Stroke plus... I guess he can't Stroke plus Dig this turn. So I'm going to play our Obnixilus out, because we're going to have to run into this stroke at some point anyways, and this prevents him from digging this turn. So he has to choose He has to choose between stroking and digging this turn. Yeah, so we knew we were hitting the stroke there. How much is your starting champion affect your text? Quite a bit. It affects your uh, life total and your uh, it gives you a charge ability as well. So, pretty, pretty powerful change. All right, dig. See what he hits. Good thing we got two pair with a languish kicker. Pretty resilient to a uh, transgressor duress here. Was that a different art? I can't tell from my screenshot. Transgress here, sure. Hex is a trading card game. Singles have inherent value in them, in the game. Because they're boys. Shambling Vent, our MVP, thing's gonna go all the way. 
He has a Jace that he knows is just eating a removal spell. Terror, you can also just play it for free, though. It has a, a basically free-to-play component. So he has Gideon X in his hand right now. Three, four, five, six, seven, we have eight. We can play both of these. If I don't kill this, he gets to dig. So I have to kill that. We're one short of kicking this. Hey, what's the problem? <laughs> hey. <sighs> Don't really want to just kill the Gideon here. Playing our own Gideon means if he like crackling dooms, we get screwed. I could just like play Gideon and cash it in. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna play Gideon and cash it in. Just like use our mana this turn. We're at 30. We have a little bit of a life total buffer here. Next turn, we could ruin his path kick and then crack with a 5 5. Nobody knows what is playable or unplayable post-rotation. If you're afraid of rotation and afraid of losing and spending money, you shouldn't play standard. It's just it's just that simple. M magic and, and hobbies in general are a giant cash money pit, and standard is an extra big cash money pit. All right, opponent also in on the Gideon emblem plan. Sure. Kill Cletus, crack him for five. So he's going to five here. Uh, we can utter end plus activate shambling vent. No, we need to draw land to do that. I don't know either of the cards in his hand is just like gonna crackling to me now. It seems like good play. Painful truths? That's greedy. Alright, sideboarding. Yep, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this again. Submit. Yeah, sorry if I came off as a little harsh. It's just like, like the Jun deck we're playing too is a lot of cards that looks rotation proof, but really like we just don't know. The biggest thing about all of these decks is the mana bases, and like that's just like a giant question mark until we have a full spoiler. Normally, I tell people to focus on le on modern during this time, but even that's a crapshoot right now. So uh, we're gonna keep this. Seems super reasonable. We're definitely. We're definitely going to. Hmm? I'm going to go watch this, so I'll take them with you. You're going to take the kids with you? Yeah, you can have them all day. Okay. You can have a break. I'm going to duress on one here. Do you want to go upstairs? Wow. Swing and a miss. That's depressing. I almost waited a turn two. I just didn't want him to play like a land and duress me. That's sad. Shitty attack scene probe. <laughs> 